Hello everybody, this is Entoland and this is my case. This video is about my case of rotating blocks and mine test. This is mine test. Let me show how in Vanilla mine test the regular slabs work. Okay? You place these slabs like this and that's all fine and good. Oh wait. Depending on where I'm facing, they are placed in a different way. Oh, this is cool! I can make patterns like this. That's great! Okay, let's see... Uh, oh, nice! If I, if I point at the bottom, it, the slab gets placed at the bottom. But if I point at the top... Oh, this is great! I can make stairs like this. Ah, very nice. Uh -huh. This is probably not what some players have experienced in some servers. Okay, let's see the stairs. Okay, okay. Good, I can place them the way I want. If I point at the top, uh, they go. Okay, they go in the other way, so I can... Uh, oh well, I can make uh, the roof of my house like this. Oh, this is placed in the wrong way, okay. Okay, like this. No, not like this, like this. That's good, that's good. It, it can work, this can work. Nice! Okay, where's the problem? The problem is that I am now to enable, I'm about to enable the more blocks mod, which is used in a lot of servers. And now I'll show you how the behavior of those two simple blocks changes. Okay, first of all, those blocks don't really exist anymore. You think those are regular blocks. The same blocks you have seen before, but they are not. They are different. Ah, I'm going to place them down, just the way I've done a few seconds ago. Okay? Now I want them the... Oh, wait. Why they are always being placed in the same way? Doesn't matter where I'm facing? No, makes no difference. Okay, let's try with the stairs. Okay, this seems fine. Okay, let's try. No, aiming at the top doesn't make any difference. Okay, let's try like this. Oh, wait. Okay, let's try from the other side. Eh? No, no, no way. It's not doing what I want. Ah, okay. What's the solution? Well, the current solution in my test is to use two tools, which are the screwdriver and the node replacement tool. That is the screwdriver and the node replacement tool. So, okay, I want this lab here and I want this other slab up here. Okay, let's rotate it. Okay, like this it rotates. That's good. Let's try the right click. No, I don't want it. No, not like this. No, not like this. No, not like this. Okay, like this. Okay, and the other ones. Okay, this is good. Okay. Now I want this like this. So, one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, wait. Should I do this thing over and over again? No, there is the node replacement tool. I can use this. Okay, so. Uh, one and two, one, no, not here, one and two, one and two. So I can copy this. No, not like this. Okay, it was. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, then right click with the sneak key. And okay, it's copied. Now I I'm going to copy paste the same node with the same orientation 
here okay that's good that's good it's working okay wow for me this is clunky honestly the the way this thing okay let's imagine I want to do the same with this okay okay now I have to put this one here and here and here okay now I want to rotate this one two three four and five then I switch the tool and I copy it and I place it okay it could work more or less okay I don't like this way I find it clunky and I think there is a better way to deal with this stuff and here goes my proposal first of all maybe many of you know exactly what the default screwdriver does with the nodes and for those of you that don't exactly know I will show exactly how that works so here we have a testing block it's just a regular block like the others just it has a lot of fancy colored faces so where so you can keep track of uh, where the, the, the block how the block is uh, orientated so if I left click with the screwdriver it will rotate the block only around its main vertical axis in this case this block has uh, the pink face at the top and the green face at the bottom and the screwdriver will rotate it only clockwise around that axis okay the right click of the screwdriver will change the direction which uh, where the, the top of the block will point to so the first click the first right click of the screwdriver will move the top of the block <coughs> from pointing upwards to pointing north okay so now the top is facing north and I can rotate it but only around that axis then I can right click it again and the top will go south and again I can rotate it then I click right click again and it go it will go what no east in this case and again and it will go west and finally it will go down that's the reason why I had to right click with a screwdriver this lab five times so that the top goes to the bottom one two three four and five the top is now at the bottom and I can only rotate it ar around that axis around the vertical axis of this block uh, there is a different way there is now if you install the rotator screwdriver the rotator screwdriver doesn't care <coughs> sorry it doesn't care the direction the node is pointing to it only cares about the face you are pointing to with your tool so if uh, you if I use the rotator screwdriver you can see in the rotator screwdriver there are two markers PS which stand for push and RT which stand for rotate so let's start first with the rotate feature you right click and you rotate the face you are po you are uh, you are pointing to it doesn't matter what's the direction of the node you right click and it will rotate that face okay as you can see it doesn't care how the node is placed I am facing the yellow face I want to rotate the yellow face I right click the yellow face and if I want to turn it in the other way so not clockwise but counterclockwise I hold down the sneak key and I right click and it will go in counterclockwise uh, sense okay this is just this option 
is enough to turn a block like the slabs upside down with just two clicks instead of five okay and then I can still rotate the face and it rotates the face I'm pointing at okay so if I point at the side it will rotate around this face okay I point at the top it will uh, rotate it from the top I point at this flat face it will rotate around that flat face simple as that it doesn't care how the node is placed now there is another feature which is the push feature of the rotator screwdriver and it will work like this now you can see this red edge that means that if I push that edge then the red face will go up okay so that it's it would be the same effect of rotating this yellow face I can do both things I can rotate this face and so the red face will go from here to here okay the red face is here I rotate the yellow face clockwise and the red face goes up okay I can do the same thing by pushing this edge so I left click with the rotator screwdriver on the edge which is farther from the face I want on top and that face will go up if I push the green edge in this case the green face will go up okay and it doesn't matter from where I click it just matters when uh, what's the position of the crosshair and what's the closest edge imagine there is a triangle here okay continuing this the green edge I can click anywhere here with the left click and this will push this edge and make the green face go from here to here I want the uh, yellow face to go up I can push this edge okay not sure you can see that let's do with the blue okay I want the blue side up here I just push here okay I, I can also pull a border by just uh, sneak clicking in this case sneak left clicking and I want to pull this green edge by pulling this green edge I will make I will make the yellow face to go up uh, sorry not the yellow face the pink face so uh, let's try here I want the red face to go up I can pull this edge this uh, cyan edge okay again this is just uh, an example that no this is the description of how the two works okay and in my opinion it's uh, it's way uh, easier to use compared to to the other uh, to the other option using the screwdriver which is a screwed up tool in my opinion and the node replacement tool which is a very useful tool but it's not really handy when you want to uh, place multiple nodes of different types in the same orientation okay let's me let's make an example okay imagine if I want to place imagine I want to make a staircase uh, okay there is the memory rotation memory off let's get rid of my feature for a second rotator memory off okay let's get rid of this and let's place okay I want this stair in this direction and alternating with this one okay okay I want normal wood stairs and jungle wood stairs alternating going up I have to first place them then using the uh, replacement tool I have to copy these and paste here and paste here and copy here and paste here okay 
and if I want to continue in the same orientation and changing the colors, alternating again, I have again to do the same thing. So I have to copy these, switch to the uh, replacement tool, copy and paste and paste and copy these and paste and paste and paste. It works. But it's a lot of clicks, it's a lot of juggling with tools, and uh, I don't like it. I think there is a better way if you use the rotator screwdriver. Okay? So you first place a node and choose the orientation you want, but you have to make sure the memory is on. Okay? So I rotate it, and then all the other nodes. I will place, doesn't matter what's the shape, will be placed exactly in that direction. And you can see that also in the notice, you can see bottom left of the screen, it will read, place the node according to previous, previous uh, rotation. This for me is an improvement. In particular, if you are using the more blocks, uh, the more blocks mod, because with the more blocks mod, all these fancy shapes uh, start placed in just one direction, and you are forced to rotate them manually or to use the node replacement tool. With the memory of the rotator, you can simply say, "I want to make a roof." Okay, okay, let, let's make a roof here. Okay, so I want to make the roof to start here. Okay, uh, okay, let's continue. I want the other up here. Okay, and that's good. Okay, I want to continue up here. Okay, so I switch to the rotator, I rotate, no, not like this, okay, let's push this, okay, then I rotate this once and twice, okay, no, it was, okay, that's good, because I can place this here, and this up here, okay, and continue building, okay, this. And if I want to switch color, no problem. I challenge you to do this thing, choosing the colors, changing the shapes, with the normal screwdriver and the replacement tool. You, you can do this, but it's a lot of clicks more, and it's less intuitive, in my opinion. Because you have to remember every time what's the top of the node you are facing, you are using. Okay, look, I want to rotate. Uh, okay, imagine I am on the inside of the house and I'm looking at this block. How can I tell what's the top and what's the bottom? I can notice these lines and know that this may be the bottom. So if I use the screwdriver and I left click, it would turn so that the, fa the slope will not be facing south, but it will be facing east. Okay, should be like, no, it, okay, it's turned like that, okay, toward that side. Okay, but what if I want it in, in the other direction? Okay, what if I want uh, the slope to, to remain the same, but I want these lines to be vertical. Okay, how can I do that with the screwdriver? Okay, with the screwdriver, I have to, uh, okay, I have to first uh, change the axis and then rotate, but I can't rotate it because it will just rotate around this axis. So I have to. Uh, okay, no, I want them, okay, that's vertical, okay, I managed it, now the bottom is this part, uh, 
and the top is this one okay I managed to do that but for me having to think every time what's the top where is the point in the top it's uh, just an additional complication which is still in time to the fun I have in building stuff if I use the rotator screwdriver I know that I'm rotating this face it doesn't care what I'm facing I want to rotate this face and I rotate this face okay so now I want okay I want this vertical okay it's vertical Bam. okay and I want the slope to be pointing to the other side okay so I do it this from the top and I rotate the top and I got the vertical lines from the side and the slope facing exactly how it was before so it was just one from this from here it will be one push okay and two rotation good now it's the same one push of this edge one push of this edge and one two rotations one two rotations that's good for me have you tried this have you tried making stuff like this with the screwdriver which wears out and the rotator screwdriver doesn't wear out because in my opinion in mind test we should be able to place the nodes in the orientation we want without having to wear out tools we should be able to do this with the bare hands the bare hands not even with a tool in my opinion but I tried to intercept uh, the events for the end and I wasn't able to uh, have the, the bare end rotate nodes and probably it wouldn't even be the best solution so in any case this is how my alternative version of the screwdriver works I am not proposing to get rid of the screwdriver it has existed for 10 11 12 15 years I don't know people um, are used to it and it's okay they can continue use it but I'm proposing the addition of this tool uh, well to a couple of servers one in particular which is a very cool server I won't mention it here because I don't want to make any uh, advisory of uh, that server I'm just new and I want to they have to know me better I want to know them better so it's it's correct that uh, I don't make any advertisement for the moment I would love to be able to build my stuff in their server which is a cool server but uh, I cannot really do that without the tools I need to build without coursing the tools of the game every time that's the same reason because I go down in the caves with a, a higher value of the gamma of the game to be able to see uh, in the dark in caves why because uh, well there is a lot of amazing technology a lot a lot of mods which allow you to do a lot of crazy stuff in mind test and we don't have a simple portable flashlight to go meaning in the, in, the, in in the caves that's absurd in my opinion so instead of placing torches all over the place instead of having the torch in my hand and it won't work if I'm on a rope it won't work if I'm underwater and if I move too fast the light the lighting of the surroundings don't catch up so th that's a limitation of the game right now okay I find a workaround to improve my experience and my fun while I'm playing the same goes with rotating stuff the regular screwdriver it's okay it does the job and it, it has done the job for several years but for me the rotator approach it's just better just more intuitive just more predictable and so 
just in the same way we have multiple mods dealing with mods or with uh, various shapes such as uh, the CNC from Technic to make shapes of a certain kind of uh, or uh, the more blocks circular so to make other shapes or uh, a lot of other mods which uh, implement the same concept in a slightly different way just in the same way we I think we should be allowed to use a different approach at rotating nodes because in basic building it's one of the most important thing you place a node it doesn't look okay the way you've placed it you want to rotate it the fact that you have to rotate it must not be a problem must just be a small thing you have to change in that moment without worrying about the internal detail of the orientation of that node I don't care if the top of that node is now currently pointing east or west I just want this face to be rotated and I don't care if I simply don't care I want my life to be simplified and this tool for me simplifies the rotation and I suggest the addition of this mod the rotator I'm going to show now in the end this is the official repo for my rotator screwdriver and I suggest the use of this mod just try it and see if it does the job slightly or even way better than what you're used to. Thanks for watching.